going to do a school presentation on camping and backpacking. Uh, we're at the North Clarion Elementary School. Yeah, I live in a cabin. You camped in a cabin? Has anybody camped in a tent? Me? You guys have camped in tents? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, have any of you guys ever watched YouTube before? I So, in going backpack, to make it extra fun for Jay Lee and my other daughter, who's a little bit older than you guys, we make YouTube videos. Have any of you ever made a YouTube video? No, You've done it all, huh? With your dad? You got a pretty cool dad. I might need to get his phone number. That's how we boil our water there. And this keeps the wind from making the fire blow away. So our food gets hotter quicker. There's our tent and all the wood we cut up. Jaylee's filling up our, our bag for water so we can clean it. And there's the food once it's all warm. are the little bugs that you don't want on you? you know? And fleas. And fleas? Fleas are kind of like ticks because you don't want to get wet when you're out there. I knew they'd have my long underwear to keep me extra warm. Yeah, because we're generally out in the winter. Uh, her shirt, she wears a flannel a lot of times. Most important thing though is we don't want to wear much cotton. Cotton, it gets all wet and sweaty and it doesn't dry very quick. Her hat is a merino wool hat, so it's not going to get all sweaty. It's going to dry quick and not absorb water. Yep. And my puppy coat is Super lightweight, so it really is easy. You can throw it in her bag. It's really small, so she can put that right in her book bag, right in her backpack, and it's not going to take up much room. I have my raincoat, so when I'm at by the file, I don't burn my puppy coat. These melt real easily. So she wears that over. It melts, but not quite as easy. And it also helps keep the wind off of her. The wind goes right through these pretty easily. So that'll help keep her warm at camp. Good. So a couple rules when we go camping. Jay Lee, you want to tell them what the rules are? Well, number one is don't get wet or injured. Don't get wet or injured. Well, number two is we can't climb or better than you find it. Pick up any trash or garbage on the ground. Yeah. And rule number three is have fun. <laughs> Pretty basic, not a whole lot to remember there, huh? Well, I don't think this. So, we have these, so if you're cutting wood or just sitting there, it's filling up water, you can pour out this and you can knee on it. And you so, if I'm cutting firewood or she's cutting firewood? And you need it for those two sides, this side to keep more heat on it. Yep, it, it reflects. So if we're sitting in our backpacking chairs, uh, you can go ahead and, and you can sit on that. You saw in the video we were cooking food, right? So all my food cooking goes right here in this pouch. Remember how I told you everything has a place? Yeah. Check this out. This here has all my stuff in it. Inside here, guys, all my cooking stuff that I need. I got. A, a washcloth or a rag to dry the stuff, so I'm not putting it away wet. I got this little thing here, which keeps it so all this doesn't fall over, because at camp, you don't have a table to set everything on. We're usually using rocks. So that will go there. And that holds my gas. And then from there, and I'll hold this up for you guys in the back. All this goes here, and you fill this with water, and you can boil your water. Boil it and boil it. Wait till it's boiling, huh? Just boil it and You can start cleaning that up. Two dollars a meal, and this will feed both Jaylee and I. 
And you see, she's made home for the night. Well, I, if you want to show them, what's, yep. We have this mat, and I'll say always keep the heat in the back onto you. And this So you want to make sure you clean that water real good. So we fill from this bag, we either fill that and boil it, or we fill this to be able to drink it. And you take this, this little thing here is called a steri pen. A steri pen. It's got an ultraviolet light in it, which is just a fancy word for super powerful light, I guess. And I take that water and I take this, and you turn on and you spin it in your water for about 90 seconds, and it makes this water pretty good to drink. You're, you're fairly safe. There are still a chance that there could be something alive in it, but not in North America, not anywhere around here. There shouldn't be anything alive. Same way to me. I have my own pocket knife, and I'm going to stick like that. Yep. Last week at camp, Jaylee sat there, and she whittled all the bark off the stick and kind of made a neat shape out of it. I mean, I didn't come over. Yep. That keeps her busy out there. What do I always tell you with a knife? You don't want to cut yourself ever, especially not out there in the woods. Is this. The game commission has everything that's really warm and fuzzy. So deer, bear, raccoons, stuff like that. We have everything that's cold and slimy. So if it's icky and you probably don't want to touch it, that's the kind of stuff that I do. So fish, turtles, um, snakes, all of that. So. What I do is I make sure that the people who are going to go out, like to hunt, right, or, or fish, or boat, to keep that safe and to make sure that the animals and the fish that you're going after are still going to be there for somebody after you, we make sure that you follow all the rules that are out there. As a matter of fact, the first time that I met Mr. Rex and his family, was they were a long way up in no man's land. And uh, they were camping, doing everything just like they were supposed to do, to come and use that ground. I kind of make sure that all those people come and when they use the ground, they treat it like they're supposed to, so you can keep using it all the time. All right, on the count of three, are we gonna say happy campers? Thank you guys, you've been a wonderful audience. I hope to see you out there on the trail someday. Absolutely, we've got lots of friends that like to be outside. We're gonna go right back to our table seats here first. And then, well, I know we've learned a lot more. I think we have to be a little patient and find out, right? We have a little bit of